Good morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> I think I might have just seen something, oops, related to our issue here. Cannot create a file when that file already exists. So that might be affecting its ability to write. But this should be good enough for us to do the client work. <clears throat> so I know I was seeing that it might be a hold issue, probably because of this. But I actually want to fix it in here, probably. Oh, well, <laughs> kill that window. It'll take a couple of minutes to respond. There's so many little files in here. <clears throat> All right, so key down. And then we were saying, I currently got it on C. I can't use a switch statement if I 
made that a settable thing, so I don't, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> this isn't using pointer down. I wonder if it's in motion. So the weird thing is <clears throat> that it seems like it is doing something, like it's being reinterpreted as a click. But none of this is going to care about hold mode. So I thought I was using that. Well, uh, let's see, I don't have this linked currently because we were juggling everything around. Okay, so the road for our one little experiment is still here. So normally I would like run up to something and, well, I'm full right now. Um, so does the op server come with a reduced? Maybe I just started off a good temperature. So that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I still got that. I wonder if it has something to do with lag in the real servers. Well, I might need to add some debugging. Well, no, because it just won't send the command if any of these fail. And it seemed like it was sending the command. Hmm. So I wonder if that's actually like a server state sync issue? All right, so this is actually one patch up. And then move some other code around. Uh, so we want to say, oh, I had the command here. So we know when it's triggered. Well, I want to know when the button triggers. And then if anything got in the way. But I'm not, I don't have an easy way to check the results of that.
Well, all right. I thought I was doing click faking here, which, which explain why you would sometimes see. Uh, the hold effect come up. When I added the drag support. <clears throat> Could this be interacting with that somehow? Send a bug report. <clears throat> it's clearing it out. Started by like a team movement right away. Give them time to unpress the mouse. That's the move extension code. Where are you triggering? Oh, um, is it function? Yeah, okay, so this is a step. So this is the auto run code. Simply stop walking. <clears throat> Some pending message is more movement. Reach destination. I suppose we could be messing with some of this detection. This is step again. Current speed equals zero. Pending action animation. Then it sends it. And then all of these are going to do something. Then um, another send. Queue until after done moving if we are. Well, those do, oh, do override it, I guess. Oh. Okay, so I was being I was being a little bit lazy about that. If we're going to send a command, we should really Hmm. No, it would it would be some orphaned memory, but it wouldn't otherwise cause any problems, I don't think. Uh, so I should have a compiler here. Uh, oh, I need to, I was doing server, which we're probably gonna go right back to server. Uh, and I wanna make sure we've got a clean build here. Make and copy one life to build Windows one life to eleven. And then ooh, uh no, we did we did pop. Update this patch.
I don't have to do a full build, rebuild very often. Let's see. When this is done, I want to change branches. Not that it matters, but I might want to be doing some stuff with the files. All right. Uh, so that compiled properly. Uh, so this is probably, you're not hungry yet. Got born at optimal temperature. So, I mean, usually I'm like kind of in a hurry and running up and trying to do that maybe it's like from auto run to object well I missed nope that's not it well I guess I'm gonna have to keep Keep an eye out. I thought I was seeing the uh, drag drop detection. Uh, so refresh that. STG push drag drop back on. Do another little quick check. Or is this possibly going from object mode deep mode? Hmm, seems fine. And it, yeah, we still got that. Did I? Mm, no, because if I click drag, I drop it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I believe that that's sort of working on top of master. So if I get check out Jason Aurora master, get check out get a new branch. Oh, yeah, so we built that. We've got a client. Uh, we want to switch over to server. We're going to set that up to build. Uh, oop. Made it too big. So what we were seeing was cannot create a file with when that file already exists. CD server probably server.cpp, but that could even be minor gems. Might be minor gems. Uh no, you're that. I mean, or it could be a like a database file thing in here. Uh, 
No. No, and that is what we are actually doing right now. Uh, C compiler cannot create executables. Wait, is that a system message? It's like it's taking an error and just printing it out. Well, where is starting server? So we know it's something that happens before there. What? Are you being case sensitive? Oh. I didn't think ACK was case sensitive, but okay. Cannot create capture, cannot create. Oh. Wait. Oh no, that's not from that. That's from the run server script, which is trying to link things. Yeah, so that's from these. Okay, so that doesn't explain anything there. <clears throat> so, did the berry bushes get remembered? Because I know I was not seeing dropped objects stick around yesterday. Or no, no, it was, wasn't yesterday, I think. No, she probably was yesterday. So we placed that one floor, and we couldn't place any further floors. That looks like a pretty full berry bush. All right, so a bunch of objects. If we quit that, cleaning map cells were set, zero needed to be cleared, zero needed to be cleared, records total, 12 records. Uh, is there like a... Mm. I think there's a way to do this. Uh, let's see, so... CLS, clear screen. Okay, server starting up. Apocalypse. Last use transitions. Cleaning stale tiles. Look times from two to two. Two to two. Cleaned zero, map cells. Cleaned zero, cleaned zero. Shrinking two to two, clean zero, clean zero. Zero needed to be clean, zero needed to be clean, zero database records total. And then we don't see any of our stuff. So our, let's see, I know that the file um, update times were changing.
So, well, these are binary files, so it's probably going to be easier to put these aside. Possibly should have done this between server runs. Okay, so we know that we were went down here. And we just spread a bunch of stuff around. Uh, zero need to be cleaned, zero need to be cleaned. Database records total. this one so prior state mm, no no I'm gonna think of my other project uh, one life server oh For efficient comparison and not having a lot of stuff in my face, it might be convenient to curse save eve radius log map dummy recall recent placements. Oh, that was the thing for the center, I think. Oh, those are actual. Hmm. Did that update? And I just start from scratch. Huh. Wait, that's saying we have a modified date. Or is it no? Maybe it's no, we have a size. But these are only look times. Oh, there were stuff deleted in it, I guess. Okay, so I could buy having looked at some extra stuff. But I think that's only times. So the map has not changed. We didn't try to change floor. So that seems to confirm that we're not making any right. So it's. It's opening and touching the file, but it's not making any changes. So this is where we have to do a lot of code investigation. <clears throat> uh, we need to know... Well, I know that there are, uh, I was talking about a bunch of flags that prevent writing. Uh, so it's probably like a map. Uh, where do we, uh, how about map.h? What are we looking for? Change position, white map files, 
free map get map object add contained get contained remove contained set floor floor is also an issue perhaps map change get map biome mm, get object get map object yeah oh well so we want to like set map object Uh, hmm. So I need to know. Well, this might be depending on. Huh. This is not the database files. However, I would like to take a short break. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, you know what? I can do that. I can beacon this, but I think I actually may have lost uh, track leaving my beacons as, as I was just trying to move forward. Oh, that is that is a definite bug. Oh, that sounds so much better on this computer too. Boy. I stole that from Porthos. I didn't make anybody jump through any hoops or anything like that for it, but I did steal it. Then that should just be consistent. <laughs> oh shit, I'm wasting her food. Whoops. See, that's the thing. Because I sat, because I went by. <laughs> Things have dug out. Let's build that other set. As it goes, um, putting doors down everywhere, it's a little bit of overkill. I, I probably don't even need to do that, but I, I just like it. Um, one advantage to it in, is... I... Alright. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Any other map? Map time. Uh, it'll be one of the DBs. Got a lot of DBs. Uh, which DB is he using currently? Wait, is it really not in here? Oh, wait, that was uh, the header file I was looking at. It's kiss DB and linear DB. Uh, get map object. It's a DB get. <clears throat> Actually, it's db get uh, linear db oh maybe that was in map and its own little local macro
Let's store it locally. Init DB caches. DB get cached. Uh, which is DB cache record. No. Oh, there it is. This is the get cached. DB put cached. Okay, so that's the caching portion. Int quad db get. Floor db, floor times db. And these are macroed out to be linear db3 get. Uh, and then we have open and close. Is that what does the actual saving? Uh, Time shrunk, temp db, old db, <clears throat> stale map cells. Db temp file. Is this a problem with temp files? Well, I mean, uh, let's see, are we running currently? <clears throat> it does seem to be able to keep internal state consistent while running. Because I can drop an object, I can pick up an object, I can change objects. But if I reset, none of that gets saved. But you're apparently doing something with the temp file. No look times present, not cleaning. No, it, we, it does work the first time. Then we do a DB open. Uh, is this a pointer? DB pointer. File, DB file, null path. Is this a macro? Oh, that must be like an object constructor. Uh, says not cleaning. And then it just opens. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Auto sprintif dot temp if db temp file exists remove let's do a quick test here uh No, no, no. Stop being a jerk. Okay, so at least in Explorer, you can actually have a double extension. So these are the things 
that I'm curious about. Now, it didn't say fail to open. At least not that I noticed. Temp DB properly sized and insert, but don't count. Clean stale sales, close both files. Copy to the DB file and remove. Mm. No, because that wouldn't result in as we make a temp file, we copy things into it, and then we copy back. Uh, we think that the temp is local. Because uh, it's just, well, what's percent as path? Yeah, that's the file we open, so it should be the same directory. What makes us do this? Skip look. Well, that's look time cleanup specifically. Whether or not look time, well, that's only look time DB anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, what was it? DB. Was it server that had these? No. Uh, okay, it's db open, db get. So it seems like uh, linear db, it's the writing process. Then your db close. That doesn't save it. Um, what is the set operation then? DB get, oh, DB put. Locate value. And as a flag for whether it's a right. Okay. So this attempts to write every time. Empty bin insert mode. F seek. Create a new location. Read the contents of that value. Um, yeah, maybe it's sort of an append only thing. Uh, 
if right value size right one value so supposedly hmm key match is there another condition where we would just write no key match collision in this bin. Well, there's another input. Right present flag, right key, right value. Uh, I don't know of any records would be replacing versus adding. So if that's non-zero, return negative one. So probably empty bin is what we're looking at. Uh, let's do a quick check on that. We have we have a smaller example. Uh, so we can check uh, replace value what it thinks it's doing. All right, now we have to rejigger this. So we're in server, we want to make sure we're not reusing any old and save client files. So make and copy uh, one life server to Fortunately, this is only a one-time thing. Uh, oh, we may have not been able to copy that with it running. Yep, permission denied. Oh, we got objects moving. <clears throat> uh, we don't appear to be getting there. Now it has to use this for lookups at least. Oh, it does have its cache. Uh, let me also check. Cause 
we, we know the files are being touched. Just a little check to make sure we're actually running a modified version. Oh, still running. Well, still have to do something. Uh, do I actually need that batch file? Once things are set up. See these to something. Well, the files are being here, so I think we're okay. Probably just run one live server. Uh, all right. Now I lost track of where I was. All right, did we see? Probably should have had something easier to see. Now it says there's things here, but I don't see any databases opening. Uh, okay, how about file dates? That's about as recent as any of this stuff. How do we get these without opening a database? It said there was like 12 things there. What? Uh, let's check server.cpp. Server starting up. Oh, right, that's printf. The stuff we can see here is app log. That's that's going to it's been going to stand out probably. Well, if it's like the client, or it's been going nowhere, or just log. Nope, that's the app log. Well, all right, so we know that this prints. Um, but is that in no? So does that mean he's doing something special in the main app? Capture standout? Well, unfortunately, that is standout. So we then wouldn't see anything here. So app log's clearly doing something.
So I'm updating the file. Really? Oh. Well, somehow it's working on the compiler. This thing doesn't know about it, uh, which is going to be a pain in the butt, because it's nice to have, but I don't know how to tell it to... about include paths that are apparently supplied by the make file. I'm surprised that doesn't affect the client. Okay, we can, I don't know where the heck printf is going, but uh, we can, well, no, because app log isn't there. What the heck is he doing to do printf output? And what is app log doing? Because it's clearly printing out. Uh, critical error. Oh, just info, I guess. No, that's different info. M log, uh, log string, log pointer wrapper. Set log. So this has to be a different setup. Yeah, because in the client, app log only goes to the log file. It doesn't go to standout. App log, app log. Starting up, uh, print all messages true. Set log file, print all messages. That's app log. Uh, which goes down to there. So this is a file log. And if you say print a if you say print all messages, it does a printf. And yet, Okay, from here it works.
Why does it not work from linear DB? Are we not actually calling any database functions? It would have to call open, right? And yet, it does not seem to call open. You don't call open because map db open db open. Uh, well, now this is time shrunk. Biome floor. Oh, so we are using that for everything. Map DB. Because we store time separately in map time. Hmm. Okay, so this is like our big master file open. Init map. How are we getting here? Meh, yeah, you don't look minor gems. We are, nope, okay, we, we did a knit map. So why? Are we not? Are we getting here? Oh, you were probably still running. Yep, pushing denied. Being is being the process. Okay, so we are attempting, yeah, map.db, open time shrunk. We don't see no lookup times present. We see shrinking hash table. Oh, app log is in map, not in linear DB. But we never call DB open? Now db open is linear db. Oh wait, I've been looking at there's linear db and there is linear db3. And we could probably just 
did not notice that deet and we don't have all of our git ignores. Linear DB3. Oh, there's a two. <laughs> All right, so that probably means we're getting to open. Uh, was it set? Seek set. Is it still locate value? No, it's not locate value. Oh, maybe it's set? No. Set max load, open. No, it's getting put. Oh, but it's called get or put here. Okay, so it's still a flag. In ignore data file. Well, it should be false. Hmm. Be for some testing. Wait. And oh, that's a call to it. No. This is a forward declaration for something else that's using it here locally. Skip to overflow. Hmm. So where would we be doing an actual write? Oh, we'd have to do file operations, right? File pause rack. Don't seek unless we have to. Make sure it matches the documented. F right. If not, in ignore data file. We've apparently gotten to the point. Yeah, if input. Just establish that we've gotten here for now. Consider fingerprint. Consider fingerprint. Get or put. We use it there. Goes consider fingerprint. Does that do anything important? That appears to be the only right. So we're we'll see if it's getting that far. Nope, I left the server running. Okay, so it does some puts during that. I think it's kind of like rewriting the map. That's not the real database, so to speak. Uh, 
Uh, there was a putter too, so it tried. Get first empty bucket. Uh, not ignoring file. F seek two, if to okay, these could all return. Uh, not equal to two. This is where I wanted to do print F. Uh, should be U. Uh, stop the server so we can replace the file. Hmm. I wonder if there's maybe something with the way they do file handles that you end up writing to the old version of the database. Uh, so we get some writes during cleaning. In which map time DB did some writes? Not ignoring file, but we didn't write anything. Uh, that would seem to suggest well, it may have been we didn't have to seek. We may have not needed to seek. Well, no, because it would still go down here. And this is the only thing that can return. Uh, file position not as expected. Okay, stop the server. File position not as expected. Not ignoring file route zero. So that was for an object moving. Huh. Why doesn't it update the database? for object moves. Anyway, <clears throat> what the heck is going on here? Uh, we're actually gonna have to do a, a call here. in db file and 
Uh, don't know if that matters here. Now this is called a file pause rack. You went 64. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to be a printf problem. All right, we did one change. So is that a printf issue? Or is that the actual value? What if, uh, well, if we swap them, that should hopefully get out any data ordering issues. Or at least we should see the order swap in a expected way. So that's saying we sought to the end, that got to a value, but we were expecting this, which may be zero. Uh, oh, yeah, um, that's different results. Which suggests we do have to care about what kind of value we're printing. Uh, also, we need to know what an ftello is. Uh, okay, I don't have a window for you. Oh, there's an FTLO 64. Well, this is probably going to be this. Hmm. Probably going to be the same in Ming. Large file extensions. But you're a 64. Uh, now this can be a little bit system dependent. So unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, what that works out as. So we're going to kind of have to stop and do some size ofs to figure out, well,
So long int and long long int are probably the ones we have to be concerned about. Uh, so we have <clears throat> you went 64t is percent d a int is percent d uh, a long int I might as well just do long long int So size of u int 64t, size of int, long int, long long int, uh, actual close. Did I stop the server? I stopped the server. I guess I could have done that program open, but it, I was here. Uh, all right, uint is eight, int long int, so it has to be, so we want the format for a long, long int. Which is LLD. Um, so I did kind of like having these in the same order as the if statement here. We stopped the server. All right, so when we're moving an object, Maybe that's not, oh, this is reinterpreting it at. Signed is short for signed in. I don't think it arbitrarily makes it signed whatever. But that was a unsigned int. So would it really be that big? No, that's still Garbo. Okay, so you're taking a 64. Linear DB header size is 11. Uh, I should have left, left a marker. Um, U in 64T. Well, we use that in a couple of places. Uh, 
Uh, what was it? Down around here. Mark. Now what I actually need to do. So what is new book at file index zero? Uh, I need to know your your type. New bucket is a fingerprint bucket. A fingerprint bucket is a linear DB fingerprint bucket, which is probably from linear DB dot DB three dot H thirty two thirty two thirty two. Okay, so those I should be able to print out normally. Uh, when you DB3. Uh, boom. And in DB record size. Get record size bytes. It is a regular int. So none of the parts of this are 64, but apparently he wants to consider that they could be. All right, so jump down here about. Uh, oh, we already started this. That's why it's mad at us. So, header size is 11. That shouldn't be anything special. So, file index is a regular int. No, this is the stored record size bytes, which is get recorded. Oh, but what is your data type? Well, I mean, that's an int, but it could be put into something else. Unsigned int, okay. Should be fine. And they're resulting in that, which I'm, I'm still concerned about what if I'm formatting that correctly. And file pause rec. Okay, server is off. All right, so this is primarily an issue. Well, actually we could probably see that in some of this. Records, okay, so 121 times 24, that seems somewhat reasonable. Uh, so for this thing, it's file index 27. Was I putting... What? This is getting five five one. This 
this is getting something big. But that value should not be getting changed. So I have to be messing up something with my printf format here. Because that is bizarre. All right, what is it? Uh, we're passing this value in. Uh, so let's do these independents. So if we do it as this, file pause rec, if we do it as LD, and if we do it as LLD, or no, yeah, LLX. Okay, server is off. If only printf were, could somehow be made type safe. Okay, so you are all fine. Uh, you show up the same, but then down here, we get garbage. And that's not being like passed as a reference to anything. It almost seems like the act of the cast to signed is changing the value in place. Uh, let's look at this in hex and so we know what it is right before we go here well you know I'm relying on arb some arbitrary documentation for what ftello is oh if win 32, F tello is F tello 64. So this is, yeah, so when we try to print this, it's wrong. I wonder if that's degrading, ah. Wait, but that wouldn't change the decimal value if it's zero bytes in the beginning. Or do you mean at the end? Well, it, it depends on big endian, bloody endian, all that stuff. But okay, yeah, so I've been printing this, I've been printing my ftels incorrectly because uh, I didn't realize this was macroed. Uh, but I think that that may actually be that this sign here needs to be a S in 64T cast.
which would be the return value of f tello 64. But this also gets into the question of that this fixes it for win that might fix it for Windows. But what would it do back on Linux? Well, I mean, presumably he's using that type because it's comparable. Yeah, signed is just int, which is going to be standard size. It's not just um, signed version of whatever you had. Uh, not as expected. But it's doing this comparison, so it, those are both x. So it's still not as expected. Although maybe... No, because it's just, just trying to save a seek. So, but it's still seek end. Oh, but then it, if this is a bad comparison, it's not. No, because we're actually reading this as not equal. Anyway, we think this has to be s int uh, 64t. Well, I mean, what is ftello coming from? Well, let's stand. Uh, offset 64t is really technically what it should be. Uh, this is not the bit of code we're working on, but this potentially affects all of them. Which probably means that that's what he should be using for the uint up there as well. Uh, server is stopped. Mm. Maybe on Linux? Because it, it, this is a sort of multi-platform, so... So the thing is, I would have to like do this as a branch somewhere, and then go build it on Linux, and then test that. Um, actually, I've still got uh, the VM here. It's been a while since I used it. Uh, file, yeah, it's still not as expected. But I guess this could be, we could be having similar errors elsewhere. So we think this should really be an off 64T. But I mean, in theory, every use of uh, signed here is suspect. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and then we have other files, pause recs. But that's just resulting in seeks. Uh, and is this fseco? So that should be. Nope. Okay. Offset 64T. There's 
there's file pause rec again. So there's all my stuff. So in, th well, how, how often do we use, you went 64. Well, that's a bin number. Num records in file, expected size. File size is an ftello. Uh, well, this is supposed to be an offset. An offset is probably a... Is probably is unsigned. Well, I guess could, you, maybe you could have negative offset. Description set for the type of the offset. Oh, right, you're a long, so that defaults to signed. Complete type definition. There refuse to be implementation. Never need to look. Shall be signed integer types. So for his purposes, I guess they're always unsigned. Because it's sizes. It still weirds me out that that conversion f failed so spectacularly in the printf. Because we shouldn't... I think a positive value would have converted fine. It would only be the... Um, negative or large values that might have trouble. But he does seem to use this pretty per persistent er, persistently. So offset, wait, what do we decide? It was, it was signed. So he has to convert his unsigned value to a signed value but it also got converted down. So it seems like the signs are the thing that would be in error, if anything. So this thing is an offset to 64T. Oh. If, what is, what system is this documenting? <laughs> Interoperability projects. Well, the, the type of FTEL, well, the thing is, I might, because this is specifically redoing these in Windows, it might depend, the type that we use for this might depend on the operating system. Well, I need to know what F... Uh, Ftello in Linux. Uh, offset T.
in Linux, compilation with file offset bits will turn offset t into a 64 type. On Windows, Right, but he, hmm, 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 but he still has to use this function. Maybe that changes the types, but not the functions. Well, no, it says it turns off T. So in Linux, it changes off T. On Windows, it may not. So we might need to do our own conditional type def for the cast. Or do we just use sint, which we think is what? Maybe, I don't know, it's been a while since I've messed with stream stuff. We, yeah, SN64 might be the easiest way to s do that. Nope, 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 nope. Repeat change. Essence 64 is not declared. Uh, how do we do? Signed 64 bit in CPP. Uh, oh, just int. Okay. Because it's not unsigned int. I kind of think that you should be able to say that explicitly, but fine. Uh, Do not exit the server. File position is still not expected. So it maybe wasn't breaking anything terribly. That we've fixed every instance of signed or er, in this file. So end of file doesn't fail, but we don't seek to where we thought we sought to. So this is saying seek end. So this must be zero bytes from the end. It didn't fail. Although we're testing for a non-zero return, which is probably uh, okay, sure.
There's that portability thing. There's Microsoft. And there's the Linux again. So FSeco, oh, it is FSeco and Ftello, okay. Returns an int. Set argument. Successful or zero returns the current offset. Otherwise, negative one is return. Return zero. So that would be false, so it should not be doing there. <clears throat> so seeking claims to succeed. But the tell of the offset is not what we expect. So does that mean file index is off? NDB number of records. So file index zero, fingerprint, number of records, number of records times record size. Hmm. If it were a problem with the cleanup process not updating handles properly, We would end up writing stuff into the old database. File position as expected. That's doesn't feel FB not equal to two two seven. Uh, wait, did I still have a record size 20? It's decimal. File index 27. So the end of the file does not have nearly as much as we expect it to. Now one thing that bothers me is the object moving, because those should also be map updates, I think. Because it would have to be removed from one spot and added to the other. Maybe those are only written on shutdown? So what could explain NDB number of records? We open it with zero. We plus plus. So number of records only seems Wait, what is this? Consider oh I never looked into their fingerprint bucket. So if it's a put, we increment the records.
Yeah. Uh, well, one thing I was noticing is that I'm seeing a lot of object moves, but I'm not seeing any database writes. Even, like, attempted. Uh, duplicating is a little weird. But yeah, there's definitely something weird going on. Because the file size is not matching. Uh, so there's a right header. There's an F right. <clears throat> Now this is all right header. Saving all placed items as the bores index. Hmm. Header into temp. Uh, uh, this is linear DB open now. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm somewhat baffled by num records. It doesn't seem like it reads that anywhere. So does it like regenerate that every time it opens the database? MVP header size, record size bytes. So I think to understand what's going on here, we'd have to be looking at the number of bytes written on every operation and well we we always have an expected file position right So I should probably, well, what do I depend on for local variables, though? Uh, file index is NDB number of records. NDB record size. Uh, NDB file. So I could write a little verifier function. But as long as we've got a database we can do a, a consistency check on it. And I might end up inserting that at some places where we're kind of like in a weird state. Num written. Uh, get bucket might actually be updating number of records. Uh, that's what it seems to be. And it seems like, like I was able to put down the one floor tile, but now I can't do further floor tiles. So I think it's possibly something in the process. Well,
of because it like switch over to temp files and then moves those over and then reopens them I presume because uh, it's it's updating the file timestamps. But there's not updating the file contents. And every time we get to a write, uh, we say our size is not expected, and then don't perform the write. Okay. So no, actually, that doesn't does necessarily necessarily mean a temp swap thing. So, do we have any other utility functions that we can use real quick here? Page manager, <clears throat> or as a template, page manager, page manager. Page manager, linear DB, right header, recompute fingerprint, um, Mm, I'm about to check. Okay, the thing else check here. Oh yeah. So we're gonna call that mark B. Go back to A. So things we need to be able to check are well. Uh, no, this needs to be after the seek. So we need that uh, new bucket. So this is actually going to be in DB um, num records. So that's going to be what we calculate. Uh, we calculate uh, that. Um, I should, probably should have actually copied an extra thing here. Uh, we don't care. Oh, no, this only got to go to end of file. Uh, and that doesn't return anything. Then we need to do this. Uh, I guess, uh, and this doesn't have a return value. We're just going to be now. I suppose what I should. <laughs> uh, so this is really where we expect to be reporting things. All right, so any, t well, we have to be careful with any time we write because we might be kind of like in the middle of doing some consistency stuff. So f write, uh, well, it should be consistent after the header, right? 
Uh, NDB. I mean, maybe it's actually not. Uh, header buffer, failed to read header, write header. Now, that's just an F write into temp file. I base this on a database. Temp file. NDB file, temp file. Yeah. NDB file equals ref reopen. Num written. Matches we've documented. Uh, I'm not really checking this right now. Uh, what the heck is this? Uh, consider fingerprint. Uh, well, that's still, but what are, where are we aiming at here? Well, uh, so num written, uh, seeked and read, successful put. But there is more writing here. But maybe you're bailing too. Oh, interesting. No, I must have right his snow. Because there's NDB right here. Must be a different one. 327. What? Oh. Does that to me all the time. And we copied the error. <clears throat> uh, this could have failed up here, though. But we're trying to seek somewhere for a file index i that might not be number of records for an update. Oh, uh, F seek, O oh, seek set. That's a little bit different. No, this is going to seek end again. So this sh means that, yeah, we expect to have gotten to the end of the file and to have that position match here. If f tell not equal, yeah, so that actually anything here should be, we expect the file position to be equal to that. And then we write some stuff at the end of the file. This must be the, well, if that's num records, it's file pause rec, but it is end of file. But it might not be num records because we're setting up for something. Uh, 
Uh, already seeked and red key, ready to write value. Now I'm written, this is my rote. Where we could Uh, and this is essentially put. So we shouldn't need that. Not as expected. So fingerprint. Uh, yeah. So this appears to be normal writing because we keep because we keep updating. Fingerprint. Because that looks like it's advancing normally. But it's, get, it's getting to this code, so it's not failing here. That look gets off by exactly what's, what it's probably writing. And that's off by just a little bit again. And it's consider fingerprint. I didn't copy this, no. Oh, but then we also have to do this. Key size. Right, so I haven't written the value yet. Because this is just going by number of records. Uh, I might need a separate version that's based around this or maybe around this. Well, it would return if that failed. Okay, those are like, yeah, different by a value input. Well, this is my little macro thing again. <clears throat> uh, file rec pause. So that feels like it's kind of advancing through positions. What did I miss here? Oh, because number of records advanced afterwards, and that's what we're using. That's not going to tell me... Hmm. <laughs> I might have to have a lot more parameters to the function. So it seemed to get through all of this stuff okay.
Okay, so the object moves are sometimes running into trouble. <laughs> Cleaning up map database. Actual position not equal to... Yeah, it's like it's still continuing to write, because the expected position is num records. Which we don't... I guess we're not doing any sort of error checking for failure to write. Uh, oh, yeah, now this is looking fb not equal to 10f. Object move. This, yeah, this must be object moving doing writes. But it didn't need to seek? So that's fingerprint. The FTEL is just not changing. Ah, but this is only if empty rack. So if it's not empty rack, what seeks? Oh, so it's up here, it's set, seek set. But we're not checking our position after this seek. Uh, but this is to a specific spot. File pause rec is file index i. Presumably we've found a key here. That's just checking is the file as big as we think it should have to be. So our seek to end is always Stopping at FB, which is probably like the old file size. Yeah, so what's weird is that we've got an NDB file, and that's what we're seeking on and what we're reading writing from. Are there no? Because those are specifically the offset versions, right? Seek and tell are offset specific things. Read and write are just kind of working a number of bytes. Yes, that's very weird. Um, what, what could be going on? If we seek to end of file, we always get the same position. Yet writes claim they're succeeding. Could it be a flush? Uh, 
ftel after write causes glib glibc to flush the buffer. Current position. No indication of doing a flush there. Oh, this is a stream. Uh, oh no, it's file pointer. Well, let's pick, um, what was it? Well, the first thing we run into, consider fingerprint. Uh... Uh, how about from here? And see if that makes that stop. Uh, do we close you? We closed you. <clears throat> Okay, nothing during setup. I think it was only when we started looking at things and making stuff move. <coughs> nope. Nope. Okay, so that... Yeah, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Yeah, I got some used dummy objects too. Okay. So that doesn't seem to be it. We're just not moving. Uh so here's a here's another experiment. Um, there's probably some text files here. That could cause us some trouble too. Oh, map dummy recall. Hmm. Hmm. And that should, I want to check my Docker setup for that. Who would think there should not be some errors on this run. Because we haven't done any file juggling. Um, huh, I guess we hadn't activated any movable things yet. Zero dummies. So in the process of doing that, wait, there was no database put either? Five map cells, six database records. Uh, 
Okay, so that was preserved. Uh, that didn't, you know, wrote, there's some rights. I removed the one message. So maybe there's a certain condition that gets it into a bad state. And then every time it attempts to write, it just bails. And you can never write anything else. Oh, that's interesting. So there are some kind of errors here, but it's not like... ...showing up, or it's not writing everything. So for some reason, it's not processing item removals. Uh, what if we replace it? Oh, now we've got a bunch of database records from objects moving around and stuff. So that would be a, a, a cell that had been set before. Okay, so we're not able to replace a set cell currently. But if it's never been set, then we can. Now, admittedly, we've been, we've been kind of mucking with the code. So that would be a, no, that would be down around here. I took this out when it bails. Uh, not ignoring data file. The check is failing there. Uh, this would be a previously existing one. Now this is, looks like, go end of file. So actually this is okay here. Uh, overflow index. No, well, we are printing some of that stuff out, but we, it should actually be kind of two because we're picking something up, right? Not found. Consider overflow. Records didn't match, keep going. Overflow index. If it equals zero, get first empty bucket. This bucket index. So does consider fingerprint bucket actually do the right if it's found? Equals int if it's hit. If not empty rack. Okay. False match on non empty rack because of fingerprint collision. Let's well, key comp. But there's uh, if put if empty rack. 
So now we have to consider where we could bail from here. We don't we don't need to seek here. Seek to the end. So there's no check on this one when we seek here. We just assume we got there. So if it's not an empty rack, seek there. NDB file, file pause. Mm, it's an argument, so fine. My existing check won't work. Mm. Final position not expected, FTEL, file pause, rack. <clears throat> now we still see, in this version of the database file, <laughs> we do seem to be able to add new records but we can't replace them. All right, so that, well, that was two changes from me. So there were some other writes that must be objects moving. Although I'm not seeing any updates from objects moving, which is kind of weird. Oh, no, wait. Well, maybe a couple of them. Move is done. Oh. Well. Oh, I was doing printf, not log. Which is how that works. Yeah. Move is done. That would be the new object. Uh, well, uh, let's go to server. How about, okay. Map. Check decay object. Well, I, re I guess I really only care about, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. T move not equal to, so that must be the tile moves. Time. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, I guess there are other tile changes that maybe would get in the way, like milkweed cycling. So I might actually want to turn off all decay times.
But there's a lot less stuff. And I, I may not be documenting or debugging on a call. But nothing I'm debugging sent an update there. And we definitely had some sort of error with the file sizes. Oh, uh, what, uh, we are getting map updates now, though. They're just append only. Uh, so if we grab... a bunch of this basic stuff. Oh, well, there's some puts. <laughs> Nothing triggering down here. Uh... Refresh. Oh, maybe. Not clear what's changed here. Oh, I mean, 11, 11, 11, 27. Well, map is the one we're concerned about. Yeah, so that looks like an append only. I wonder, hmm, <laughs> consider, shoot, let's consider, oh, no, not yet, map, consider something. Okay, it marked it not set. Oh no, it's in linear DB. Consider fingerprint. So what's happening here? Uh, it's not a seek failure. I guess it's the cache that's making the server consistent as you're working with it. Actually, that's an interesting, that's an interesting point. Uh, is it DB? get db get cached what if we just did
that to remove the cache. Uh, well, the server might still send weird reports about it, but... Because it might... Oh, no, I could just, just treat it as a hash, as a cache miss. Oh, I didn't, you know, run the server. Well, that means it would write again. Oh! So that gives you immediate confirmation on that. <laughs> Just, yeah, that, that, uh, that cache, uh, DB put cached, well, it, does it, uh, DB get, DB put, now it affects the DB get. Yeah, the act. It puts the database every time, but that disables getting from the cache. So actually, I guess we could we could have just as easily disabled put cached, and then it would never put things in the cache. But it does that in a couple of places. I guess we just return from here. Anyway, it's roughly the same. Uh, yeah, so it is not able to successfully write a object removal. Uh... Empty rack, uh, in out value. Uh, this is going to be a put equals in fingerprint bin FB in bucket fingerprints I rack index. bin fingerprint this is only if it's equal zero which says I guess we don't we don't know we don't care uh, this is probably just a map put of nothing I would guess zero uh, so we've got in out value we've got in fingerprint If bin FP empty rec equals true, empty rec for we're putting an empty rec? F right. <clears throat> well, I guess if we're not seeking to the right place, then we couldn't write it, but this is coming out okay afterwards. This is if input writes. Uh, we probably need to get all the return paths. It Finished non-file insert. What does that mean? Oh, that's it. If ignore data file. Uh, 
Uh, we return one if. Well, this is a for a read. Uh, really, only think the in, the input cases are of interest. Uh, we're, oh, we're not checking this one currently. Uh, let's do a. So input, uh, it's a couple of things we can check. Okay, so there were some ignores in there. Not quite sure what that's for. <clears throat> All right, well, there's the startup. There is... No map puts? How? <laughs> Are you only used under certain conditions? or something. Uh, get, get or put, get or put. There's an expand table operation. So the top of it is actually here. Get bin number. Oh, so we already got the bin number for it. We've got this bucket. Skip to overflow if input and ignore data file. Skip to overflow. Skip to overflow. I guess this is where we only have to start saying where can we. I don't need print. F here. <clears throat> Ignore data file. Oh, oh, uh, inserts are still working. Set our fingerprint bucket. Uh, that's skipped overflow again. Uh, so that skips that entire thing. That can return. No, it skips that entire thing. If input and index equals zero, then we get a put. This bucket overflow index equals zero. So that would be like a get or put not found. Well, gets could be not found, right? This might get spammy. Oh, I guess there isn't a print. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Whole word. Jeez. There's a lot of skip to overflow there. A lot of not found. Wait. Well, I broke something now. Oh, now we're now we're getting file position errors. Oh my gosh, all the milkweed cycling and stuff. <laughs> um Yeah, I actually need to make sure that there are no uh decay things happening. Live to KQ, or is that a server thing? Live to K record. Check to K contained. Object moving, what did I do with you? Uh, I got a condition at the top. It's like if object move. Nope. Check decay object. If NID equals zero, return NID. No auto decay trans record. Okay. And he does capital ID. Yep, now we're now we're like double borked. Uh so a whole bunch of not found. Uh okay, we do get placing Eve. CF right failed. CF did not seek. Consider fingerprint. Oh, if it's tracking number of records locally, uh, then as soon as a write fails, it's going to be the seek position is going to be out of sync and it's going to start bailing. Uh, 
So there's still some automated processing going on there. Right failed. Mm. All right, uh, return value. The error indicator F error will be set for the stream. Checks the error indicator to a value different from zero if it is. Print error message. String. Optionally preceding it with a custom error message. Uh, so we just want to put pair. Uh, I might, yeah, the new lines might be, might get weird here. Uh, right failed, no error. Oh boy. Okay. Right failed, so we wrote zero. Is in key just a, it's a pointer. So we tried to write that much. And, hmm. I'm starting to wonder if this is gnarly enough to actually try and figure out, I think, I think this is a point of something about GDB, but I'm not sure if that was on Windows.
Oh, so it's trying to write 16 bytes. Oh, from in key. Uh, in key is going to be just a bunch of bytes. So I'd have to write something special to try and print that. I could print the pointer value, I guess. Make sure it's not null or anything. And is a file a pointer as well? Although we're getting seeks and tells about it, so it should be fine. Right failed. Okay, there's, yeah, there's pointers there. So a right fails for unknown reasons. Hmm. Uh, what is... What is the... I've, man, I've got, just got too much spam right now. Uh, well, that would be in the app log. I think. Wait, is that? No look times present. Interesting. Not cleaning. Zero map cells were... Is that accurate? I mean, I've been, I've been mucking up lots of things here. Cleaning stale look times, cleaning stale map cells. Uh, maybe that's a map thing. Not cleaning. Cleaning up map objects. Actually, I guess what I want is db open. Skip look time cleanup. Because this is the thing where we do like a temp file and do the shuffle. So that's actually a setting. Well, didn't fix the databases. I don't think I know any of those songs. Uh, now these might be already corrupted databases.
Oh. Still open. Actually, we can just duh, duh, start out DB. Uh, and just in case, a couple of these. Let's see, this was me. Now, things all might also be weird because of all the hacks I've done to things, trying to get rid of noise. Okay, so that changed. Oh, but I've like completely disabled put somehow. Uh, so I didn't think I did that. Printf check. Oh, I added this check, which can return. And I guess I changed some of the conditions. Uh, linear DB3. Uh, which one is this? Circa 1043. I mean, you probably should, well, no. And I'm not seeing that. Does that involve a decay somehow? Printf, printf. Printf, printf. There's the cache stuff. That should just make it go back to the raw database. There's check decay. I mean, I kind of want to keep some of the debugging stuff rather than just doing, I guess I could stash it. Now we're gonna have a bunch of noise from milkweeds and stuff though. Oh. Yeah, all right, I broke something badly. Oh, right, I'm in this. Uh, do I have a window open? Yeah. Oh, wait, I was left the server up, so we can't copy. Uh, we should probably oh. uh, yeah, that'll be this afternoon. Uh, and I, I really should stop and uh, go eat lunch. I'm just really mystified.
I don't think I've done anything that would prevent writing to the database. Well, I guess there's the cache. Yeah. But, yeah, it's getting too late. Uh, I'm going to have to revisit this. So, the cache is interesting in terms of showing it up, but it's like, well, I guess we're not spamming everything. Uh, that was, was that map? Yeah. Get cached. Uh, make sure I don't know does recent place what does recent placements even do that's the well that and dummy recall are the main ones I'm worried about possibly doing something Yeah, because I'm going to have to examine the stuff I did, because I don't think I added anything. Well, maybe the... <laughs> so this used to enable some degree of change. But all this is saying is cache miss. I guess are we expecting to be able to read back cache... <laughs> Maybe we're expecting to be able to read back a cached value somewhere in the loop. Because that actually breaks everything. Uh, I mean, it should just miss the cache and carry on. DB put cached. DB time. Oh, I wonder if that's confusing it. It's a time hash. Or dot time cache. It's like, what well, ought to be there? Of course, now we might have messed up databases again. Nope. Man, I I am surprised that the cache can completely break it like that. Maybe there's a side effect in compute cache hash? I don't know. But those are the only things. I guess I could not write to the cache? Uh, uh, put cache time put cash uh. mm. 
Or do I need to do a make clean? Hmm. Custom might change the other files. Oh, that actually did get removed. Nope, yeah. Uh, so that remove me. Yeah, uh. It seems like the cache should just be a cache, but it's completely changing behavior. I don't know. I I have to stop and eat sometime. So that's it for now. I will be back this afternoon to play the game normally. Uh, no real mod changes. I've my reproduction for the one thing didn't make any sense. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hosting. Uh, in the meantime, the other thing to recommend. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I'm normally, well, this time change is weird, but I'm normally gone by now. What do we got? All right, nobody I know playing this. Uh, well, there... Mm -hmm. There's some um, satisfactory. I should really check that out sometime. Uh, so if you're looking for some place cool to hang out, uh, Zinfer is somebody I've enjoyed watching in the past. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, goodbye, and I'll see you in uh, an hour or so for One Life.